Welcome to week 3, lecture 5, Load Monitoring in Sports 2. Objective of lecture 5 is to integrate monitoring technologies that is covered in week 3, 4 and 2 of week 3. To know critical features of athlete monitoring system. To know the barriers to effective athlete monitoring systems. Outcome of lecture 5 is to understand the critical features and barriers in using the athletic monitoring system. In lecture 2, 3 and 4, we have covered different load monitoring in sports specific fitness variable. These are GPS systems, heart rate monitor system, timing gate system, velocity based training device and load training systems. Now for sports specific fitness variables, you need to use each of this variable in order to monitor the load so that your program gives a very effective and a progressive results of increasing the baseline fitness level. So it becomes important that all this load need to be integrated into one system so that an overall stimulation for a given week, the overall load for different sport specific fitness variable for a given week for a given training block can be evaluated and an informed decision could be made by the coach and practitioner whether to give a progressive overload or to skip the workout and training for a given week. This can be done in something called as athletic monitoring system. Now an athletic monitoring system can be implemented using a commercial software or using a basic excel sheet and document file. Anything can be applicable based on the availability and the acceptance of creating the system at the first place. An athletic monitoring system dashboard would vary from software to software and user interference that is required for a given practitioner. In a sample athletic monitoring system dashboard, it gives the information about a monthly progression which include the total workout completed, the availability of the athlete, the sleep quality of the athlete for a given month, the fatigue of an uh, for a given month, the soreness in the given month and this features can be added or subtracted based on what needs to be monitored uh, for a given athlete group of athlete and in a given block of training. So before you utilize different features and integrate different technology, you need to understand the critical features of athlete monitoring systems. One, the system should be easy to use. Second, the system should be valid and reliable. System should present results that is easily understood by athlete and coaches. System should present feedbacks to coaches and athletes. It should be budget friendly and system should be delivered, system should be delivered information that coaches can use to make decisions in training program. System should deliver information that coaches can use to make changes in the training program. Also be aware about the barriers in utilizing athletic monitoring system. One, both the athlete and the coaches should accept the use of the system at the first place. Because sport activity, sports training and sports specific fitness training is a complex routine which requires and demands to take note of multiple variables, it becomes cumbersome for athletes as well as coaches to do something different and additional task apart from the regular training routine. 
so the coaches and the practitioner or an athlete at the very first place should have a common agreement that whatever routine training routine they are performing they have to use a common system that can be utilized by all the three stakeholders uh, to have an informed decision on the training for a given week or the upcoming workout session without this agreement coaches only would be using it however because there is no input from the athlete the system itself will not give an integrated information the second barrier in using athlete monitoring system is the nature of question the time burden required to fill those questionnaires and the time of day where athletes have to perform it starting with time of the day the practitioner should pop up the question is either at the start of the day or at the end of the day and this can be mutually agreed between the coach and an athlete so that a effective questionnaire can be filled on every day basis and every weekly basis otherwise practitioner would set up the timing but because the athlete is not available or not able to commit to the time decided to fill up the questionnaire the athlete monitoring system would again have an incomplete data to interpret type of measures required to monitoring sometimes the load that is used in a training for a given sport specific fitness variable cannot be integrated into athlete monitoring system and the technology demands to do a manual entry certain times uh, the technology itself is not used in that case the athlete monitoring system data would be incomplete and that becomes a barrier in getting an interpreted uh, analyzing for a given week and given block of the training another barrier in using athlete monitoring system is too many reminders given to the athletes or the data security of the system itself because there are multiple tasks to be performed uh, in an environment of athletic training an additional human resource is required to take care of implementing the athletic monitoring system at the first place so in case you do not have the human resource to implement athletic monitoring system even if you have an system it would not be utilized completely thereby not having an ability to get an interpreted data to analyze for the coaches or the athlete so in summary ultimate use of monitoring internal and external load by different technology and methods is to get a helping hand to practitioner in making informed decision to modify the training program use a commercial software or a basic excel sheet to create your athletic monitoring system use monitoring tools that are useful rather than simply generating the data thank you